Hi, I'm Larry B. Today we're going to fix a battery cable using our battery cable repair kit. This is a mechanic Rocky. He's a smart dog, but I bet he's nowhere near as smart as you are. And if he can fix a battery cable, I'm pretty sure you can too. Okay, start by removing the old cable ends. You don't have to use a cable cutter, but it helps. You can use a Dremel tool or even a hacksaw. Just try to get as clean a cut as possible. Okay, then you strip back the insulation. I usually go back at least three quarters of an inch or so you can get the solder in. Stanley knife or a utility knife works good here. And then also you want to strip back any ground cables that you had to cut off. We send you a pack of ends so that you can do the ends of all the ground cables as well. You'll need a crimper. Just slide the ring connector on. Crimp it nice and tight. Now we're gonna do the big cable with the Larry B's battery cable crimper. I usually back it up with a bigger hammer so that you've got kind of an anvil to pound against. A few good wax and it should turn out just fine. Now a little bit of flux to get the solder to flow well on the cable. Heat it up with a torch. Just be careful that you don't burn anything behind it or catch anything on fire. Rocky has burned up a few things, but he's learning. <laughs> solder all your other cables. Once it's soldered, slide on the heat shrink tubing. Heat it up with either a good hair dryer or a heat gun works because it has to get fairly warm. All right, you're ready to put the clamp on. It's all pretty straightforward from here. Just put on the cables, organize them so that they're not binding or caught on anything or rubbing on anything. Put your clamp down, tighten stuff up. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple. Inspect your work and have a little pride in it. Time to take the gloves off and relax.